If you ever worked with Blender before, there is a great chance that you needed to add some natural elements like grass, flowers, and trees into your projects. And that's why you need an add-on like Botanic, which recently got a great update. But before we do that, let me tell you in detail what you will be expecting from Botanic. The add-on packs a total of 723 assets and about 73 scattering systems offering you a variety of trees of different types and biomes like coniferous, deciduous, tropical, and mediterranean but it doesn't stop there cause you got many variations of the same tree type but in different seasons like a snowy version for winter, faded leaves for autumn, and bright and vibrant variations for spring and summer while trees take the spotlight, Botanic makes sure that the elements of vegetation are also present. You will find a large selection of grass, plants, shrubs, bushes, weeds, flowers, ivy, and vines, which allows you to create beautiful and vibrant environments. Additionally, it also provides additional elements such as rocks, pots, and saplings, allowing you to make detailed garden scenes by simply dragging your assets into your scene. Now, when it comes to the update, as of the release of the 7.0 update, Botanic had a couple of changes. Now, kind of functioning more of an asset pack for the free add-on called Engon. From what I can see, Engon enhances the asset browsing experience by introducing smart filtering tools and additional essential features that the default Blender asset browser simply doesn't have. Now that you know what Botanic is and what it offers, let's now talk about how to maximize its potential. To prepare Britannic, simply follow these steps. Firstly, install the Angon add-on. Then proceed to install the asset pack that accompanies Botanic inside the Angon preferences. Once both are installed, you are all set. Now let's talk about how the Angon works hand in hand with Botanic to add more features to the add-on, making it more than just a regular asset library. Firstly, Angon offers a very handy snap to ground tool which allows you to easily locate your assets onto your selected ground with a single click, which can be really fast. While the random transformation feature adds scale and rotation variations to assets which I think can make your scene look more organic and natural, cause nothing is perfectly aligned in the real world. It also enables the random scattering of assets across selected mesh objects with customizable settings for density, scale, seed, and rotation. In addition to the ability to paint the areas where you want your assets to be scattered using weight painting. It also gives you the ability to change the viewport display of your particles, especially if your viewport performance is suffering. In addition, you can convert assets to editable mode, which allows you to adjust your mesh however you please in the edit mode with a reward button available to reset models to their default states if needed. Also, you can use real-time modifications to make changes on linked assets, such as changing the season, brightness, hue per branch, leaf color, and so much more. Another handy feature that comes with Botanic is the ability to add looping animations to your vegetation, which you can customize and tweak by changing the speed, strength, and looping frames are using a different preset. It is also worth mentioning that Botanic is compatible with GeoScatter, which is the absolute tool for scattering your vegetation assets, helping you make amazing looking foliage in Blender. So guys, if you are interested in Botanic, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, let's give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.